Welcome to the Red Dice Diaries. This podcast is a rambling journey through the wonderful world of RPGs from the viewpoint of a long-time GM and player. The music at the start of this podcast was Nightmare by Alexander Nakarada and is used under Creative Commons license. Just a quick one today, and I'd like to talk about uh, an idea I've got knocking around for potentially a future campaign game. If you've listened to my podcast about the BX Essentials rules, you'll know I'm a big fan of them, and I really, really want to run a campaign using those rules. I've also been reading my D&D rules cyclopedia recently, since BX is pretty much the, the same rules, just reformatted and the layout tweaked a little bit. As I was reading through it last night, I was working on the idea that I'd kind of like to do a, a campaign world where dragons, which are such a, an essential part of D&D, are actually the, the deities or the gods of a setting. So they're sort of, they still, they lurk more in the background as these sort of like huge deific entities rather than just being monsters. But obviously still being able to include lesser dragons as like their children or their spawn or whatever. And I've just been knocking that around as a sort of idea. Also listed in the Royal Cyclopedia in the bestiary bit are the dragon rollers. Now these are something I'd not really come across before. The dragon rollers listed are Pearl, the ruler of chaotic dragons who has scales like Mother of Pearl. White but iridescent, constantly shifting like her chaotic nature. Opal, ruler of the neutral dragons, scales which are white with thousands of tiny specks of colour in all hues of the rainbow, and diamond, ruler of lawful dragons, scales with the refractive qualities of faceted diamond. They glitter and gleam with so much reflected light it is hard to stare at this dragon. Also mentioned is the Great One, the overall ruler of dragons, who has scales which glow so brightly like the surface of a white sun no one can stare directly at him unless it's through the filter of a darkness spell, through which he looks like an enormous three-headed white dragon. Now, obviously I'm familiar with sort of Tiamat in the later editions and Bahamut, but I'd never really come across these particular sort of versions of draconic rulers or deities before. But as I was reading them, I quite like the fact they're all linked to different materials. And this got me thinking along the lines of having a campaign world where... The, the various different continents are also linked with different materials. It made me think back to one of the things I love in Numenera from uh, Monty Cook Games, which is the Amber Pope and the various sort of like religions surrounding that sort of theme, colour palette and material. So I quite fancy doing a campaign world where the, the main sort of continent is called Amber, and I know there's already a game called Amber, but what you're going to do, there's only so many words in the language. And having sort of other continents around it be similarly themed around a different material. Having the various different colours of dragons occupy a sort of polytheistic pantheon, but not in the same way you tend to get in typical fantasy RPGs where like people have one deity, they worship and that's grand. I was thinking more in the sort of greco-roman style where people would make sacrifices to whatever deity held purview over the area that they needed favor in so for instance a a sailor going to sea might make sacrifices to the sea dragon in order to wish for fair winds no storms a safe harbor etc so I quite like that as an idea, and it's something I'm just going to be sort of knocking around in my head as I go along. I just thought I'd put it out there on the podcast, see if anyone got any ideas about that, any suggestions, or see if any of you have done it yourselves. If you have, please drop me a message, and I'll tell you how to do that shortly. But I'm probably not going to do anything with it in the very near future other than sort of knocking ideas around. And I'm trying to sort of go for a more traditional sort of OSR approach with this game even to the point where i'm potentially looking into manual methods of storing my data i've been looking at bullet journals and things like that recently 
to store my campaign data in. I'm always looking for new ways to file information away for easy access during games. At the minute for my Rose of West Haven game, I'm using Evernote, which has been working really well, but I'm always interested in trying out new things since you never know, you might find something better and that's how you expand your viewpoint. So I'll probably do a, a few more podcast short episodes where I talk a bit about this setting as I'm just sort of cobbling ideas together, trying things out, uh, knocking ideas around, and we'll see if it goes anywhere in the future. Hopefully it will, and I'll be able to run a BX Essentials campaign at some point using a, a world of my own creation, but taking inspiration and elements from different places. I'd love to use some of the the Raging Swan press uh, booklets that are put out. Their random tables are excellent. They put out uh, villages, cities, etc. All manner of stuff that can just be taken and dragged and dropped into existing campaign settings. I've got, I back them on Patreon. I've got a load of their stuff. I'd love to make use of some of that. And also the various random charts that I've come up with and that I've got in other books. And basically just use a lot of the, the D20 and OSR stuff I've got to sort of cobble together this campaign setting. So that's it for this episode. If you have any questions or suggestions for things you'd like to see in the podcast in future, please either email them to reddicediaries at gmail.com or drop me a voicemail at Anchor. Until I see you next time, whenever you're playing, take care and enjoy yourselves. Mm -hmm.